Hello and welcome to Supercars of London and my first supercar. For the first time, the British weather has got the better um, of my first supercar series and it's windy and raining and near impossible to drive uh, some of Premier Velocity supercars. So I wanted to take the opportunity to uh, have a ride in something a bit more luxurious and comfortable after uh, last week's Performante drive. Um, and we're in the Mercedes CLS 63 AMG. Um, it's an absolutely incredible car super luxurious so i'm really looking forward to just taking this out for a drive and i want to use this episode to answer a few more questions that some of you have had on youtube um, and hopefully make my first supercar a lot clearer on when the car will be arriving and what sort of videos i'll be creating with the car uh, once it arrives which is going to be a hell of a lot of fun so uh, i hope you enjoy this video and uh, i hope a lot of the questions become a lot clearer after this um, episode so it's luxury week on my first supercar. I've decided that given the opportunity that I can actually fit in the back seats of the this car, the CLS 63 AMG, that I feel like I'm gonna get chauffeured around by James today. <laughs> Where to, sir? Where he hasn't to? got his uh, chauffeur hat on, but... It's down under the seat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. I'll come and sit in the front with you. You gotta come sit in the front. Take it out of dynamic, <coughs> dynamic mode. So we're just going to go for a quick drive in the uh, luxurious and prestigious CLS. CLS. CLS 63 AMG. Not really. We're not, we're not really reviewing this. It's more of the fact that we can do a. It's more the fact that the weather is like this, <laughs> and uh, there's no point in driving any supercars in weather like this. The weather's been like this all week, so we're going to yeah. kind of take this opportunity to maybe do a bit of Q and A. Yeah. Um, to do it in comfort. It's the and best way of doing just it. Just because, you know, we are still children, at the end of the day, we're going to go <laughs> to the tunnel yeah. because this does have a five and a half litre twin turbo V8, 520 horsepower or something. So yeah. we haven't chosen our, <laughs> our car poorly. So what yeah. I think we're going to do is we'll do, we will do a tunnel run. We can't help it. Yeah. We're going to have to do it. We're going to do a tunnel run. Well, it would be, uh, and it then just maybe. wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be my first supercar if we didn't do a tunnel run. And maybe then we'll take a different route back and then we can uh, touch upon a few questions that people have, uh, people have put forward on, uh, on YouTube after the yeah. As much as this is going to sound nice, it's not going to have that uh, same effect as the Puffermanto did, which probably vibrated the shopping centre above. Absolutely. <laughs> However. <laughs> However, I'm pretty it's sure this is still going to be it's nice. You can't not do it. VA AMG. Absolutely. Look at that window. We're window down. You'll sound better than the GTR, I'll tell you that. Yeah. The guy in the Peugeot is going to ride, he's going to pass me, and then he's going to get past. Just for the crap. Yeah. As long as it's got sports exhaust and decad. <laughs> decad discovery. Yeah, why not? Uh, well, why not? Exactly. <laughs> so, I think looking at some of the feedback that we've had so far, I think that the general consensus is that firstly, people seem to be swinging either towards the, the Audi R8. Yeah, there's a lot of people enjoying that mm -hmm. episode. Or swinging towards the, uh, the Lambo episode, of course. Yeah. I'm sure that people have enjoyed the McLaren and the Ferrari, but as a first supercar, as we were trying to get done, potentially not the, uh, you know, not the first option. Yeah. So if we can start being realistic. Let's start being realistic for the Absolutely. first time on my first supercar. Absolutely. <laughs> Be realistic. So, I personally think, coming from my opinion, that if there was going to be a couple of choices, at this stage to get the best kind of bang for your buck okay the r8 i think should be there the now, r8 you know because because as as we said in the video that we did i'm a big v8 fan the yeah. r8 that was the initial the early car um and it's the original be, exactly and those are going to be the cheaper options so we've got the r8 as one of the options what I would be so. the, the second I think option the second for me um for me is the is the nissan gtr the nissan gtr 
It's a popular car. People love um, GTR, and I love it as well. Yeah, and you love it. Exactly. It's robust. It's it's proper fast. You know, it's proper four five eight fast. Yeah. Um, it does have a credible name, and price wise, it's right down there. It yeah. is right down there. The old Lambos are still as good. I mean, we've had this debate as well. I still think that the original Gallardo, the original V10, it sounds better. Yeah, as much as it's you know a little bit more sluggish, it does sound a bit better. So yeah, the, the sound of the sound of supercars is, is vital, as well as the looks, which is why I have to agree the R8 is definitely going to be in, uh, in in a contender, as is the GTR. Well, the great thing about the R8, I think, coming back to that one, is that it's basically on a Gallardo chassis, so you get the best of both worlds. You get the Lamborghini. You get the Lamborghini kind of. There's a bit of Lamborghini DNA in there. Yeah. But you also get the Audi sensibility. The Audi sensibility. Is that a word? Sensibility. Yeah, sensibility. Yeah. We've made it up. Sensibility of the Audi. Yeah, he thought he made sure it was correct and then put it back in. And you can and you can make, and you you can make those cars sound amazing as well. You can. One more car I'd like to add into the mix okay. purely because it's the viewer's choice and we're going by viewer's choice on the most viewed video which is the C63 AMG. I was really surprised when That's that what, one, 63, yeah, 64 thousand views. views. I was surprised when it really kind of... Uh, so it's obviously hot. a favourite. It, it, um, it, it is, it is. They look absolutely amazing. They do. Um, sound incredible. Mm -hmm. But they're comfortable and they're reliable as well which is it's just the whole package which reminds me of the Audi R8 which is why um, I want to add that in. So we've got Let's sum up, we've got four cars. We've got the Lamborghini Gallardo, the Audi R8, the yep. Nissan GTR, and the Mercedes C63. Now, we did the GTR and the C63 back before Christmas. Yeah. So I think the best thing for us to do is refresh our brains a bit, refresh, us up, refresh our experience. Maybe do the car. kind of back to back or something. Yeah. So we could almost call these now the My First Supercar semi finals. Semi-finals. Where we do two cars back to back and choose a winner and then that goes into the final and, and then, then we choose another two cars, do them back to back, and that goes into the final, then we have the last two. The last two and then from that we can have a... The Just so everybody knows, not necessarily our favourite cars, but the cars that are the most realistic for what we're doing yeah, in my first supercar. Definitely. Because otherwise we'll just, be driving, we'll just be driving around in the MP4 and the 458 all day. We'll just, yeah. just do these two and we'll do them again. We'll just keep doing them again. <laughs> and the performance, yeah, these, yeah. yeah, these three are the best. So we'll yeah. just keep driving them. Yeah, that's fine. So that gives us about three weeks where we, where we can choose, we can choose, we can choose our, our first supercar. Our final choice which which does of. give... Um, the viewers an idea on when I'll be looking to purchase my first supercar Which and we're definitely within far away? we're definitely within a month now. we are within a month I tried to hold off I tried to hold off from uh, telling people when the car was going to be arriving what the budget was going to be but hopefully from this video you would have learned a lot more um, and understood that uh, the next uh, six to six to twelve months on supercars of London are definitely going to be interesting they are going to be interesting. So I'll let James park up and thank you all for watching. Thank you very Hope much. you subscribe. Um, and uh, yes, definitely watch next Saturday's videos. Thank you. Thank you.